Hey everyone, Josh Smith with Notebooks.com and GottaBeMobile.com. Today, we're going to show you how to watch live TV on your iPad or iPad 2. We're going to use the Time Warner Cable TV app, which just launched today, and this will allow you to watch 32 different channels on your iPad as long as you're connected to a Time Warner Wi-Fi connection. Uh, in this case, you do need to be a Time Warner Cable subscriber and a Time Warner Cable Internet subscriber for this to work. When you launch the app, you'll see that you have a channel guide over here on the left. So we can scroll through and we can see what show is on. And in blue, in some occasions, we can see what the title of that show is. Uh, we have a pretty decent selection of shows. We have FX Network, E!, Disney, Comedy Central, CNN, CNBC, Country Music Channel, VH1, BET, uh, AMC, A&E. I believe Sci-Fi is on here somewhere as well. History Channel. A pretty decent mix of, of channels. When you tap a channel, it'll load the channel up, touch the screen, and it'll slide away. Give you a tiny bit of audio here. When you switch between channels, it takes a second or two to load, uh, but overall it's pretty quick. One thing that we do like is the, the, the show quality is really good. Uh, one thing that we have run into a few times, we'll see if we can pull it up here. This is live, so you, you can't uh, pull up on demand or anything yet, which would be a really killer feature. Um, looks like we had a little pixelation there, which is kind of be to be expected with Time Warner in any situation, uh, let alone over the internet. But uh, if we were to open up certain shows, we may notice that rather than have it take up the entire screen like this one is, uh, occasionally uh, if something would be boxed on your normal TV, it will also be boxed on, on your iPad. So there are a few channels where instead of having this much viewing space, you're kind of cut down to about this much. Uh, but still, it's pretty nice to be able to watch your Time Warner TV on the iPad. Uh, you will notice that there is a black bar down here, as well as there would be a black bar up here, but we have this header that we can't hide. It would be really nice if we could hide that. Um, we have a channel history, so we can hop back between our channels. There are no parental control controls, uh, so Time Warner recommends that if you want to prevent a child from accessing certain things that you log out completely. Uh, you log in with your Time Warner user ID. Uh, to create one, you'll need to go to timewarnercable.com and you'll need your bill uh, so that you have your account number and customer code. Now, one of the areas where this is kind of, uh, of annoying is that you have to be connected to a Time Warner cable modem over a, over a Wi-Fi router. So, I can't take this with me while I'm traveling, connect over my MiFi, or connect in the airport and watch live TV on my iPad. I have to be connected to a Time Warner cable router. Uh, we'll be testing it out later this evening to see if we can connect from someone else's router and Time Warner connection with our password. So this is Josh Smith with Notebooks.com and Gotta Be Mobile showing you how to watch live TV on your iPad or iPad 2. Uh, stay tuned. Time Warner says that they're going to be adding uh, more features to this app over time. And right now, it looks like a really great way to catch up on a show uh, at home. We plan to use it uh, on the couch. Perhaps while our, our wife is watching Golden Girls, uh, we'll head over to Spike and see what's on over there. 